I, I just I, I fear that if, if people haven't listened to all the episodes, they might not understand this. And you, you mentioned Infura before, but if you have a if you, if uh, you have a light wallet or, or a multi coin light wallet, those wallets work by asking Infura for information or or competitors. And what Infura does is they've got nodes on all those coins, and they ping those nodes for the information that you're looking for. And those wallets are paying the, that company for that service. We think that's a sidechain service. So if you are uh, have if you have a node, you you hook it up into this sidechain, and people instead of paying in Fura would pay in Divi this sidechain for that same information. And then since you are a supplier of that information, you get paid when they pay that same amount. So like or perhaps it's competitive to ensure in Fura and it's less. But boy. Uh, that's a, that's an amazing way to decentralize that service away from a single entity. That's right, and yeah, yeah. and 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 again, and the thing is that now you can um, have people get paid for providing this network, and as they can offset the cost of their machine by hosting several different side chains. Now the cost for operation, the operational costs go down, uh, the operational cost per validators goes down and then the profitability goes up and we can expect that once the system becomes mature, it will also be a better financial opportunity for uh, companies who are actually going to get the service from Infra and block servers and, yep. and all of those. Yeah. So it Beneficial is, I think, incentivization. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think it's a Let's... major business case, a major opportunity. Um, and yeah, as you were saying, Rob, it's a bit complex and we kind of kind of go, have to go through that probably several times. And probably, yeah, but, but yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll have time for that. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah, so one video every we'll two have... week. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So every time we have a, a sidechain idea, it's, it's, it's hard not to dive down into it because we're we and mo most people are are used to like an app doing the thing or a platform doing the thing or a smart contract doing the thing. And all of those, as we said, we're trying to get away from these centralized methodologies and to think of how to do the thing on a side chain that provides that sing singular service. It's weird and it's hard. And it's, you know, there's parts to consider that are different. So that's why you kind of have, we tend to dive down a little bit more into how it works. Yeah.